Allen O. How are you guys doing today? Uh, I'm happy to have you here. We have my guest, um, Jose Lerma, my brother-in-law, um, on the All In podcast today. I'm happy to have you here. You know, I've known you forever. I love you like my own brother, and uh, I'm so happy to have you on the podcast today, man. Well, it's a uh, it's a blessing, bro. It's a blessing. Uh, it's a blessing to be here, and thank you, man, for having me on your podcast. Yeah, here. fucking made some pretty good micheladas. Fucking right, some pickle in here. Shit. Yeah. So how's it, how you doing, man? I, uh, I mean, I love you like my brother, man. You're part of the family. I mean, you're having another sis, another kid with my baby, sister. Baby, man, another, another fucking baby. It's another one on the way. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. And I, I, I asked you this question last time. Like, What's up? Like, you know, like you, you have, we have, we have a lot of kids, right? A lot of nephews. So the last one, the last baby, that's when he turns 18, you're going to be like 59. Yeah, I'll probably be with the fucking crutches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to be crazy, man. I thought I was done, uh, what, five years ago with Marcus, but yeah, another one slipped away. God give it. Uh, it's going to be five in total. I got four now. It's going to be five now. Five in total. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to just stick it out to hot and ready's now whenever we go out for dinners, you know? Hot and ready's. <laughs> yeah, because with four plus me and my wife. We fucking waste about like $150 whenever these fucking kids get a big old fucking plate and they don't even eat half of it. Yeah, yeah. So. Is that the leftover you always bring me? <laughs> 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 I brought you this, man. I just yeah. bought it right now. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Yeah. Oh, man, but uh, yeah, it's pretty badass, man. Yeah. It's my first time ever being on the podcast. And we usually just jibber jabber like we get to like hang out like we did a little while ago. We're all talking and oh, yeah? break the ice a little bit and then. Yeah. Kind of used to each other. But yeah, man. That's pretty badass. And I, I just, I want to say thank you for, for helping me get this job, you know, that I yeah, have right man. now. Yeah, um, man. I never thought I would have been a truck driver ever in my life. <laughs> Look at you now. Again, I, I was a skater, bro. I, was a, <laughs> I used to skate and smoke weed. Now, now I'm a truck driver. <laughs> fucking <laughs> that's right. That's it blows my mind. I just want to say it's thank you. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah, man. Don't worry about it. Hey, that's what it is. That's <sighs> what family's for, you know? Yeah. Family's for helping each other out and see us, uh. With bright futures, you know, progress in this freaking life that is this damn cruel world we live in. But there's not a lot of people out there that, you know, yeah. think the same. You know, there's always bad people out there, but not me, man. I like to help out people, People, you know. Yeah. I like to, especially family. I like to help them out. You know, that, that, that me just by itself, whenever I help somebody out, get a job, and they're doing good and doing great, making money, just that by itself makes me feel good about myself you know like fuck yeah yeah you know what i mean seeing people do better fuck and, yeah. and, and grow and prosper Hell yeah like i want people to fucking progress yeah, yeah. you know i want people to prosper in this life i want them to fucking you know what i mean and even if they become bigger than i am now that's that's fucking great you know yeah. what i'm saying like fuck yeah look at them now you know what i mean like fuck that is badass yeah yeah you know i love that that that's I mean, the only thing that, that can happen is you become better and, and God will bless you with even yeah. more blessings. And, and he has blessed me, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've taken my fucking, I've had a 200 fucking dollar jacket on my fucking back. And I remember living back down in the fucking valley. Me and your sister were fucking buying some Whataburger late night. Had a 200 fucking dollar jacket on. I see this homeless guy under the bridge. Asking, what the f it was fucking cold. I mean, it doesn't get as cold as up here, but down in Texas... 50 degrees is fucking cold down yeah, there, yeah. you know? So he's out there with a plain fucking T-shirt on. I'm at the fucking stoplight on Cage. And I fucking just put that bitch in park, get off, take off my jacket. I said, I don't got no fucking money to give you, but I got this jacket yeah. to cover you up. Melissa's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, fuck. Fuck this jacket, you know? He needs it more than I do. I'm going home to a nice warm place, you know? Yeah. Under the sheets, under the blankets. He 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 has a plain fucking T-shirt out here, fucking freezing. Yeah, yeah. He fucking he could put it to use more than I do. You know, I just fucking bought it for the looks. You know what I mean? So I said, "Fuck it," I fucking gave it to him. He's like, "No, no, no, no." Here you go, man. Take it, man. 
take it. It's cold out here. You can keep that fucking jacket. And like I said, I told him, oh, and I gave him a fucking burger because we had just came from fucking Whataburger. Whataburger. So I gave him some burger. I gave him a burger. I said, but I don't got no money, but here's my here's a burger and here's my jacket. So, uh, but yeah, man, I mean, I whenever you do good in this world, or, you know, a good deed comes a long way, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm blessed, bro. To tell you the truth, I mean, I ain't. I, I mean, I don't have it all, but I mean, I'm just blessed having my family, you know, good health, yeah. good life. I get to wake up every day, go to work, I have a job, and I'm, I, I just, I, I feel blessed, you know, yeah. like, I feel fucking blessed. You wake up in the morning and you piss excellence? I piss excellent, <laughs> man. I piss fucking straight. Shake and bake, shake, shake and bake. Shake and bake. Slingshot. Not a sponsor. Slingshot activate. <laughs> Not a sponsor. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I I remember I remember first seeing you, and you had just gotten out, and you are just... Clean shaven, you know, yeah. buzz cut, and I'm like, who's this guy? <laughs> and, who's this? and like me, I was just skater. I'm like, nah, whatever. It's probably my sister's boyfriend. I go, yeah. I went over there to go skate and do my own thing, and then I kept seeing you and seeing you and seeing you, and then eventually, just stuck around. I'm yeah. Since, since yeah, I remember school. seeing you too, man. You were just a little kid, man. I know. I had big old freaking buzz cut, little kid with a big old t-shirt on with a skateboard. Fucking, yeah. he was skateboard the fuck out, like fucking crazy with that skateboard. I was like, wow kind of impressed me you know i'm like wow he's pretty heavy set little kid and he fucking skateboards fucking yeah. better than these freaking other skaters that i would see out there in the skate park yeah I I'm remember like, wow that. but it was yeah man i mean and i'm glad i stuck around you know like you guys are an awesome family you know what i mean yeah like fuck you guys are awesome man we've we've come a long way you know what i mean like fuck and uh yeah from living in a like a one bedroom house with the yeah. one restroom and uh yeah a little shake shack and yeah. then, uh, to having our own places and yeah, it's a man. different vibe it's fucking different vibe man it's 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 awesome it's fucking awesome yeah, i remember we used to, uh i would sleep on a bed with my mom my sister yeah and, in one room one, one bedroom room. house yeah and uh now we're it was no good. more than what like 600 square feet yeah 600 yeah, square feet small ass little yeah i remember that I couldn't even sneak out of the house. No, no, because you, yeah, you couldn't. Cause I couldn't sneak out. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, I can sneak out at all. Yeah, but no, it's a, it's been a good journey, man. It's been a good fucking road, and finally we uh, got to where. I mean, there's always more, you know. We always want more, but I take it slow. I take it one day at a time. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what? I'm taking it real slow. Right now, I'm 36. Uh, it's you know. I, like I said, I just like to take it slow. Like, I, I, I'm i not going to get everything overnight, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. But my mentality is just take it slow and let everything fall into place and take it from there, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I know if I'm in from, moving from the Valley all the way to Minnesota, <laughs> how do you yeah. feel about that? Oh, like the, fuck, The man. change and the, the culture, uh, the food change, the people. Uh, yeah, it's way different up here, man. It's uh, There's good people. I'm not going to lie, Minnesota has some good people, good Minnesotans, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a good vibe. Uh, it's a different culture, definitely, different fucking culture up here. Weather-wise, I fucking hate the weather. <laughs> it's fucking freezing balls up here, colder than fucking Yeti's butthole, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is fucking crazy, crazy fucking cold. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, I miss the food down the valley. I mean, the valley, it's... I'm never going to turn my back on it because that's I was born and raised down there, you know? Yeah. Born and raised in Texas, you know? it's I'm always going to have Texas in me, you know? I'm always going to be that bad motherfucker because, I mean, it's Texas, you know? Yeah. It's fuck. I, it's, it's, it's just a different fucking race down there, you know? We're like our own fucking republic down there. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, but that being said uh, about fucking Texas, it's just... It's too much. Uh, it's it's a fast life down there, man. Yeah. You know, I, I I couldn't be selfish and try to raise a family down there while I was fucking out partying and fucking doing my thing. You know, because there's yeah. so much shit out there, so much distractions. I miss it. Yeah, I miss <laughs> yeah, it too. I miss it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I, we would go out fucking partying down to 17th Street. Yeah, you know? yeah. All the fucking every fucking every other day. You know, it's fucking 
Mondays, Maniacs, and you got Taco Tuesday, you got fucking Taco Tuesday. Wild in Wednesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Freaky Fridays. <laughs> like every fucking every day of the fucking week, there's something going on there's down something there. Something going on, yeah. Every, every fucking day, so. Yeah, it's it, it was hard to get distracted down there, you know, and that's yeah. what fucking really got me. I was always fucking, you know, not that I didn't pay attention to my family, which I did, but I just felt like I was being selfish, fucking always, you know, like me not not wanting to leave that because of uh, of uh, like how can I say this? Um, me not me not wanting to leave that lifestyle because I mean I I, I liked it so much, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I was like, you know what? It's, it's time for a change, you know? Yeah, I mean, definitely, this is definitely. Like, uh, Minnesota's pretty good. I'm like, well, yeah, it's too fucking far. But because uh, in reality, we're going to move up like to Corpus. Corpus, yeah. You know, there's a lot of work in Corpus and whatnot. But yet again, Corpus is the same thing as a fucking valley. Yeah. Damn near, almost closed. Not as almost closed, but it's not like the valley, but it's almost closed. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, you know what? It's gonna be. It's gonna play out. It's gonna replay this fucking whole fucking scenario we got down here. So yeah, you know yeah. what? Fuck this. We talked about Oklahoma. Uh, she said no. Well, we don't have nobody in Oklahoma. At least in Minnesota, we got my sister. Yeah, Crystal. Crystal and Tyler, and you know. So yeah, we just made up our minds and came up here. And then I shot up over here too. Yeah, and then you <laughs> came up, and your mom came up. Yep. Sergio came up. That's Everybody's crazy. up here now. Now my brother came up. Your brother came up. Yeah. Dustin came up. Dustin, <laughs> Mikey. And Mikey. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun, man. You know, there's a lot of good things up here. There's a lot of opportunities. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of work, you know? A lot of work, a yeah. A lot of fucking work, like, everywhere. It's it's ridiculous how fucking, how fucking, how good they pay up here. And yeah. There's work for fucking for everybody up here, you know. It seems yes, like sir. anywhere you fucking go, you're fucking hired on the fucking spot. Yeah. Just to fucking show up to the interview, boom! They don't even interview. You're fucking hired. Yeah, yeah. Before they even, you know, let's let's fucking hire this fucking guy before he fucking takes off on, takes off out on us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Fucking sign on bonus. Here you go. You're fucking hired. Can you start tomorrow? Fucking right. I'll start tomorrow. Yep. You know, like fuck. It's it's fucking about us. Yeah, that was, that's the trippy part. Like when I first got on here, and they're like, you got, you got me on with Trans Systems. And they're like, all right, when can you start? And I'm like, yeah, oh, tomorrow. All it's right. fucking crazy. Tomorrow, let's go. But they jump, just jumped on the just loader. Just jumped and was, on it, you yeah. know? And and it's crazy. Like, down in the valley, you go try to fucking get a job. You go through a long fucking process. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? You, before you even fucking go to an interview, it takes about a week and a half to two weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know? And and, and that little time frame, is, it's easy for you to get distracted and fucking miss your fucking interview and fucking... Yeah. Blow off, just fucking go somewhere else, you know? Fuck it, wherever the fucking wind takes me. You're yeah, fucking yeah. out there, fucking acting wild. But, yeah, not here, man. Here they fucking, oh, can you show up? You show up, boom, right there. You're fucking hired. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Got and, the fucking job. And what I noticed about the Valley is that usually when you want a good job, you have to know somebody. No yeah, to you got to be, uh, what's it called? Well like connected. Godfathered in. Yeah, you know? Godfathered in. God, yeah. Yeah, oh, that was weird. Yeah. Godfathered in. But didn't get uh, <laughs> padrinar. Like, padrinar, got, yeah. Yeah. And like say problem. like I wanted to work at H E B and I was yeah. like, damn I've always wanted I've always wanted to work at H E B. You apply, they don't do it. They don't they don't hire you. They don't but if you know, hey, somebody, if you know somebody if you know somebody yeah. working there, you'd be like, Hey, can, do you can get me in? They'd be like, Oh yeah, let me talk <coughs> to the manager. The next day, boom, boom, they'll get you in. But it's yeah. cause it's like you have to know somebody to get in in order to yeah. work there. It's like the fucking refiner. Oh yeah. You know? It's fucking ridiculous how it is nowadays. So. I do miss I do miss working in the refineries oh, yeah, and the know. oil rigs. That was fun. Did, was did, 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 did gigs ever tell you the first day I went on the refinery? <laughs> I got a hernia on my testicle. <laughs> <laughs> no. First no, day. First day I'm on the rig. I'm <laughs> um, I'm inside a shaker. I'm, <laughs> I'm power washing all the gook off the shakers. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go take a leak. So I go take a leak, and then there's no porta johns because you're out in the middle of the desert. So I'm just taking a piss. I'm taking a piss, on the, and I look down. My testy is like literally this big. <laughs> this this big, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I'm shitting bricks, bro. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> so I go to gigs. I go to gigs, and he's sitting in the company truck. He's yeah. like, he's like, hey, what's up, Miko? What do you want? I'm like, hey, I think I got a hernia. He's like, no, you don't. How, how do you know it's a hernia? I was like, I know it's a hernia, man. Like my testy <laughs> is is ginormous, bro. And he's like, he's like, I'm like, do you want to see it? And he's like, no, I don't want to see it. And I'm like, what do I do? He's like, well, you want to go home? And I'm like, yeah. no, I just got here. I'm not going home. Fuck yeah. So uh, 
He's like, all right, I'm just going to have you standing right there and power washing from the top. And I'm like, all right, all right, I'm going to stand there and, and power wash from the top. So that he, when we go, we, like, we, it was, um, was a, it was a two-day rig move. So we were there for two days. So yeah. the hernia, I had it. I was what, running around with it for two days. I was running around with the hernia for two fucking days. And then uh, the, the next day we go to the hotel. I go and buy some fucking tidy whities <laughs> Slap those motherfuckers all the way yeah. up, all the way up tight. Yeah. And then... The next following day, it goes down. Like it, it comes back up. Like yeah. the the testicle comes back to its shape. Okay. So you never went to the fucking doctor, huh? No. Fuck it. Never went to the doctor. <clears throat> I. I <laughs> <coughs> oh, the fucking chile. <clears throat> so never went to the doctor. I think I st I think I still have a herniated te herniated testicle, but it just hasn't dropped anymore. Like, I guess I put those those tight tighty whities on, and it like it like, I guess. You gotta it, buy yourself a fucking jock strap, man. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> yeah, squeeze it till it goes back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um I was scared. So uh Beto told me buy those tidy whities bro, and then yeah. it'll go back up. I pot them, boom, went back up and it never came back down ever. Ever. I've squatted like four hundred and five pounds and never came back down. I just I just thank God that he he helped my testy. <laughs> he saved him, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, yeah, those fucking hernias could be fucking painful sometimes, you know? Yeah, but I do miss the rigs. I remember uh, the first day I get there, there's these two guys, and I'm green. I'm green as fuck. I'm super green. I've never been on a rig in my life. Yeah, I'm green, bro. Like I'm, bro. You can you can you can take the the, the scalp off me, and it's green. <laughs> and uh, I, the guys are like, "You ever worked in a the rig before?" No, nah, I've never done this before. This is my first time. Or oh, you're not gonna last, man. I give you. Uh, I give you. Fucking a, hating already. Huh? Give you a day, Mijo. You're not gonna last, man. This is this is a hard work. Yeah. Those two guys that same day were complaining about their back hurting and they left. Oh. I say, they got their shit. They put it in. They put it in some garbage bags. Yeah. They put their pillows in garbage. They left. Boom. Giggles was like, "Vete, go, go. We don't want you here." And that that same day they dipped. Boom. And me, I got a hernia and still stayed there on the job site. And it was crazy. It was really crazy. Yeah, you're always gonna have some fucking haters at every fucking job you go to. You know. Yeah. I always try to fucking put you down and shit. Oh, well, that's another thing I hate. You know, like. You, we would go, like, to jobs and shit. And say I was a lead journey, you know? And uh, there was a guy, Green, Green out there in our crew. And and I had a couple of my buddies always fucking, you know, like, getting mad at them and shit, screaming at them and yelling at them and shit. Oh, this fucker doesn't understand it. Oh, motherfucker, he's fucking new. Yeah. You know? I mean, we started there, you know? Like, cuando nosotros comenzamos, I mean, fuck. Yeah, yeah. También los gritaban, güey, like, pero thank God we had some good fucking lead men that fucking treat us good and fucking taught us. Yeah. That's the way we got to do it, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. we see a green hand instead of fucking yelling at him and fucking yelling at him, telling him that he's doing it the fucking wrong way, fucking teach him, man. Teach him, yeah. Teach, teach him, him instead of fucking yelling at him. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Yeah, you got to teach him. That's why, that's why they would always fucking quit, you know? Yeah. But. Yeah, man, it's it's just crazy, but but uh, yeah, man, it's a pretty badass setup you got around yeah, here, man. Yeah, it's a pretty good setup. I uh, put the Texas flag. I got the skateboards. I got my snowboard back here. Hopefully, on my birthday we go snowboard. Yeah, I know. If I'll we, probably if, bust ass, but if you guys are down, then I got this Chinese one over here. It's all right, setup, pretty good. Pretty Thank God nice. I have a pretty good tech over here, yeah. Garrett. <laughs> Garrett, he's awesome. He's the shit, and yeah. He's gonna be on here next. I gotta, All right. I gotta have him here, regardless, regardless or not. He, he's a mandatory right here. Yeah. He's the only one who knows how to run Yeah, he's gonna be on here. I don't care. He's gonna be on here. <laughs> Fucking right. No, yeah, that's mate. badass, man. It, it's taken me a while to set everything up, you know, because the, the last computer it crashed. Yeah. It, it was a, it was a poo poo computer. Yeah. Um, but I invested into some good tech, some good, some good, uh. Some good PC parts and everything, and I got this guy ro rocking and rolling. So that's what I needed. That's about us, man. Yeah, but it, it it's coming, it's coming and go. It's, oh yeah, it's coming. It's coming in play, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Some, I'm getting some more parts for this. I got a thousand watt process. Uh, a, po a thousand watt um. Like electrical system for the computer. Yeah. And Garrett, like Garrett told me, bro, you're gonna get addicted to that shit. <laughs> it's like tattoos. I'm already buying more parts and more parts and yeah. more parts. Every fucking single time on his two days off, he's always in Grand Forks buying a new piece. Yeah. Fucking putting a transformer together here, man. Yeah, it's in a, a thousand watts. Oh, fuck. 
So I'm going to buy a new processor, a new motherboard, a new cooling fan. Yeah, that's... I don't know what I'm looking at, but yeah, it looks pretty pricey. Right, over here. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not really good at that high tech shit. Heavy. That means something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like uh. Holy fuck. It's like the electrical system. Like it. It's uh. It's what powers your computer. So with the more, see, I have like a thousand watts on this guy. Yeah. I can put more shit on that PC. Like okay. I can put more, more stuff, and it can support it. All right. You get me, but it's. Yeah, <laughs> not a sponsor. <laughs> not, not a sponsor. No. <laughs> yeah, man, but I I do miss I do miss the rigs, man. I do miss la chinga. You yeah. Get me? I do miss that not wanting to get up in the morning, but you gotta get yeah, up. Yeah, you you're gotta like, get up. Oh, I don't want to get up. Fucking body all beat up and shit. Huh? All beat up. And you're like, man. Uh, and the money, the fast money. The money was fast. It's oh, fast yeah, money. Man. You know, it's a lot of fucking money, man, you know? Yeah. It's crazy money. You would make crazy money that you wouldn't even know what to fucking waste it on. Just buying bullshit, you know? I would go down to 17th Street. I seen a fucking <laughs> guy fucking buy a peacock just because he fucking had money. <laughs> like, what the a fuck? Peacock. We're fucking working out in fucking Alabama, and we're getting crazy fucking money, and this fucker got, just bought a peacock. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing with the peacock? <laughs> Oh, I got him cheap. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he was on sale. Yeah, what the fuck? He was a regular sale. You going to take him to every job site now or what? You know? Yeah, and, then we, and then we had another buddy that would buy a bunch of fucking weapons everywhere you go. You know, that motherfucker had a fucking armory with him everywhere he would go. Nah. And I remember one time we fucking were staying at this fucking raunchy ass fucking hotel because we got kicked. Well, we didn't get kicked out, but. We came out of our Airbnb. We went back to the hotel. Oh, it was a raunchy ass hotel, and uh, he it got broken into. Oh, fucking stole all that. Fucking stole all his guns. Damn. I was like, what? What the fuck? Somebody out there committing crimes with their weapons, bro. Yeah. So he fucking filed the police report. Eventually, I think uh, we got out of that job. Whenever we finished that job, we moved on to the next. The police called them back and told them, hey, we recovered some of your firearms if you want to come pick them up, you know? Damn. Yeah, and they were pretty fucking pricey firearms. That's crazy. You're talking about fucking $2,000 fucking handguns that he would buy. But, uh, yeah, they recovered some of them, not all of them, but they recovered some of them. Some of them. Yeah. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, yeah, it's been crazy, man. I, I, I kind of miss the fucking... Being out on the road working. Yeah. You will see a lot of crazy shit out there, you know. But uh, yet again, I like to be home now, you know. I got used to yeah. just coming home every day and going to work and getting to get, you know, coming back to your house. And here it's, that's, I could do that here because yeah. my job is here. There's jobs <clears throat> so close by here. It's fucking badass. But living down in Texas, I was always out on the road. You know that. Yeah, you know, I was always on out the on the fucking road fucking trying to chase chase the next fucking dollar you know but my money was fucking good money was fucking excellent but it wasn't worth it anymore man being home all that time and not being to enjoy the kids and shit yeah yeah now it's fucking badass let's you know i get to be home every day and days off enjoy the weekends with my kids and shit yeah put them in sports go to their sport events and shit the sporting events yeah that's pretty badass man what else, man? What else can we talk about on here? I don't know. Aliens. Aliens. Talk about some aliens. <laughs> Holy fuck! That's some Holy aliens. Holy shit! I want to hear you. Cause you're, I want to hear your thought and on aliens. Your. Uh, <laughs> uh, what can I say about that, man? I mean, they're out there. All right, so, uh, uh, tune me in on the four one one. I don't know what exactly. Oh, that is. fucking four one one. It's crazy, what is bro. That, what that is, that? is fucking crazy. It's so crazy that your uh, sister. Fucking gets pissed off when I was watching it because she, she said she it got her scared. Oh okay. You know. Yeah yeah. Because I mean it's 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 fucking true events. Yeah. You know real life fucking events that happened, and it's people getting abducted, man. You know abducted. kids. Yeah. Babies like toddlers, three year olds, four year olds, you know vanishing from the fucking blink of an eye. You know. Yeah. From where his like there was one that they were out camping. I don't know where the fuck, but. Grandpa was with his little grandson, and I guess Grandpa turned around for a bit, for not even a, I don't know, I guess a couple of minutes, and when he turned back around, boom, 
baby was gone. You tell the toddler was gone. Yeah. Vanished. Vanished from the face of this earth. Yeah. Could never be found ever again. Like, what the fuck? Like, like what's going on, man? Like, I, I mean, yeah. it does kind of scare me because I got kids, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't like, I don't like my kids to be outside by themselves, you know? I'm always, they got to be supervised at all times. Yeah, yeah. At all times. I don't like, I'm not that type that, you know, just I let the kids play outside, whatever, blah, blah. Yeah. But, yeah, fuck that. I remember, I mean, it, I, I know it wasn't like that when I was growing up because I was everywhere growing up, you know? I was never supervised. Yeah. You know, I was always with a group of friends. It was always like five, six of us at all times. Yeah. You know, but nowadays it's it's crazy, man. Like you you get on the internet and fucking, what is it? Like 600 to 800,000 children go missing? Yeah, a year. A year? Yearly. Like what the fuck? Like yeah, where are they crazy. going? How are they going missing? Why is anybody fucking reporting this? Yeah, that is crazy. You know, like that is fucking nuts. Yeah, that is. Wow. A, that's a lot of kids going that's missing. Every year. Every year. Every fucking year. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, and I think there's like there's another conspiracy that like whenever you go to national parks, a lot of people go missing in national parks. Yeah, like, well, and four one one, it's it's damn near fucking ninety percent. They're national fucking national parks. National parks. Yeah. You know, but yeah, and people say like I don't, I don't know if it's true or not, but some people say there's like. Mythical creatures that like take them, like, cause you know how like national parks are protected, they're yeah. like they're protected by the National Wild Reserve or whatever. Yeah. So you're not allowed to go in there, and they're really big, they're ginormous. So, yeah. so I'm pretty sure there's parts of the certain parks that there's parts of the parks that haven't been like explored. Like there's caves, there's cave systems. Like I've gone to Gardner Gardner State Park. Yeah, you go into that and there's like a cave six section. It's locked down. You can't go in that section. Like, it, but there's caverns and caves. Like, and just but they don't let you go in there. They don't let you go in there. Why? Is there like a fucking park ranger there at all times? Or no, what? no, it's just a fence. Like it's a fence. But we 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 went in halfway because we jumped over the fence. We jumped over the fence. We went in halfway, and <laughs> it just kept going down and down and down. We're like, nah, I'm not going this oh, far. Fuck. So we just turned away, just turned around, and it, it like it starts getting narrow, like narrow, 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 and then there'll be like a little hole. You can look, you can look in the hole, and it's like it's a narrow hole. You go through it, and it gets huge. So I'm like, we're like, nah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna play yeah. that game. Like, we're oh, not, we're not, we're not fucking Dora the Explorer over here. We're not gonna go. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not gonna go over there. Yeah, like, Come on, man, what else? Yeah, yeah not, not a sponsor. That. Yeah, not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> not a sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's scary, man. Like, they, I feel like they, I feel like some parks have like certain things in them. Like, there's like locations in the parks that there's yeah. something there that's like taking people. You get me like Damn, that's fucking crazy. And it's I mean I'm like I'm not I'm not a hundred percent on it, but what if what if you get me like Yeah, what if? What if like that guy, there's a guy that I saw on TikTok about Bigfoot. Supposedly he has big fucking big old I don't know if it's a head, limb. I don't know what the fuck it is. He has it on a big old fucking table talking about his being Bigfoot's fucking I don't know. Like a bone, fucking, right? No, it's actually like a fucking oh. ass fucking hair on it. Oh a hair like a footprint? I think no, I think it's like a head. A head? Yeah. I've never seen it. It's ginormous, dude. But I don't know, man. They, they show a lot of shit on TikTok, you know? Yeah. Sometimes it's my wife fucking tells me, you got to get off of TikTok, man. Yeah, yeah. You fucking coming up with some crazy shit. Yeah. Because there, uh, there was a little time that I was, uh, I asked her, I'm like, do you think we live in a round earth? You think oh, earth yeah. is globe? It's a round fucking globe or yeah. flat? She's like, dude, you gotta watch, stop watching TikToks. So I'm like, yeah, I know, but <laughs> it just got me thinking. Oh man, you know? I look, I, my, my, my mind goes like in circles when I'm thinking. When yeah, I'm, I'm like watching different conspiracy theories, but then like there'll be conspiracy theories about that conspiracy theory, and the, yeah. and then there's like the facts. You get me? So it's just like it just goes in circles. You get me? Like, what That's if this is crazy. wrong and this is right? And you just it just blows my mind. You get me? I'll go off on a whole like a whole rampage on just that same topic, like. Like Nikola Tesla or the flat earth or yeah. the Mandela effect. You get me? And it just it just goes in circles and circles. It's crazy, man. It's just so much shit out there nowadays, you know? Yeah. Uh, social media and shit. Like, it's so easy to manipulate people. It's fucking crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. But, yeah, that's why I try to keep my kids off of that shit. You know, like, off of YouTube, like, they're banned from fucking YouTube. Yeah. Like, fuck, no, you're not going to watch no fucking YouTube. None of that shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. Watching fucking Power Rangers. And the Power Rangers they watch are the ones I fucking grew up watching. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? We got Jason fucking, you know, the old fucking Power Rangers. You know what yeah. I mean? 
fucking Green Ranger, Red Ranger, none of this fucking Dino Rangers that they got now. Yeah. No, you're watching the fucking Mighty Morphin Power fucking Rangers. Yeah, right. like, the, like the original Karate the Kid orig- with uh, Jaden Smith. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the original <laughs> Karate Kid, man. The, the original no, Cobra Kai. No, with the uh, with the new guys. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's the Karate. Uh, it's but the that's, same thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you threw me off there for a bit, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, man, I, I ban my kids from watching YouTube. They can't watch YouTube, man. There's so much shit on there that, yeah, you know. But uh, <laughs> the original, the original Karate Kid with Jaden Smith. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. I mean, damn, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, the driving. I know we 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 uh, we're on the road like all night. All night, and we're just seeing shit in the sky. Oh yeah, man! And there's some trippy stuff, especially man. Wow. up north. You heading down up 75, up to fucking Stephen and shit. Yeah. Oh it's my fucking, god. Sometimes it's pitch black, and sometimes you'll fucking see. I don't know if it's a fucking meteor, but one time I fucking seen like a fucking uh, falling star meteor. I don't know what the fuck they, you guys want to call it, but yeah, I seen it turn on, and it's coming down, and it just fucking complete stops, poop, and it stays there. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, nah, I'm fucking looking at that shit fucking driving. I fucking start going off road. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? What is that? Yeah. Like, because I've seen fucking falling stars or meteors coming down. Like, you know, like, shh, don't, don't fucking come off. Yeah, know? they'll just like. They'll just shh, fade away. Yeah. This fucking started like one. Shh, and it just, boom, fucking stopped. Stops. It just stopped. And it stayed there. Yeah. So I fucking have my eye on it. The whole way up, Steven. And I, you know, get loaded, whatnot. After I get loaded, I kind of knew where it was. So I tra- started looking. There's nothing there anymore. Nothing I'm like, there. what the fuck? Yeah. Is it, what the fuck? What? It couldn't be a fucking drone. Because yeah. that motherfucker lit up coming from the sky. Yeah. Above. It lit up. And it, like, it was fading. And then it lit up more. And then it just fucking stopped. It stopped right there. Yeah. Yeah, because I've seen one when I was loading over there by uh, Eldred, and I remember it like it lit up, and I was like, "Oh, it's like a, it's an airplane." So I was leaving, and I was I was on the radio with Sergio, and uh, I'm like, "Dude, there's like a there's like an airplane or a helicopter like just there in the middle of like the sky." He's like, "No, bro, those are like those are something else. They're like little light. They 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 fuck with you." And I'm like, "What are you talking about? Like, yeah, like go see a light up, and it's gonna follow you, and it's gonna disappear." I'm like, no, it's not. And so I'm driving away, and I'm looking at my mirrors because we, we don't have a back mirror. So I'm looking at my side mirrors, and it's still there. And I'm like, what the hell? So I turn on 75, and I'm driving down, and it's like following. It's following. It's following. It's following. It's following. And then I turn. Like, I looked at my road. I turn back, and it's gone. Completely vanished. And I'm like, bro, what is that? Like, it just vanished. But he's like, yeah, bro. They, they light up, and they disappear. Oh, And they fuck. just, they're just, it's random. Like, they're little lights that just pop up, and then they'll just... And we see them every single day while we're on the road. Like, ev- oh, wow. it's weird. Like, I want to I want to ask the boss if we can get, like, footage of our cams because we have dash cams. But I don't know if they'll probably won't let us. But the, every single day there's something, like, weird going yeah, on. Yeah, there is, guy. man. And, yeah. I've, I've, and I've witnessed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fucking crazy. It's Yeah. I mean, it's, like I said, it's pitch black out there. So. Yeah. And, and then and you plus, the you're difference. just fucking looking forward and you're heading up north. So you got a whole fucking view. Yeah. You know? So you're seeing everything, dude. Yeah, oh, and got big old fucking front. And you know, shield. you know the difference between the those and airplanes because I know the airplanes we see them come out of the strip. Well, yeah, and, and they're always flying around. Yeah, they're doing circles. They're doing circles. Yeah, and, shit, and these know? these things they don't even blink. They just they just they don't move. And then because we'll see the airplanes, we'll see them land. You know the little the Crookston Airport. We'll see them land, and then we'll see them go. Like I don't know if they practice at night or something, but we'll see them land, boom, and then they'll leave the airplanes and they'll do circles all night. And then those lights will just just vanish. Yeah. And then, it's yeah, it's crazy, man. <clears throat> but uh, damn, you finished your drink right away, man. Oh, that was good. It was good. Oh my yeah. god, he killed his. Look at this. You yeah, like this it? This is too good, man. You got down on this. Yeah. You, you saw the new, the new bottles I got. Oh, you got a whole fucking winery there. Huh? <laughs> uh we I, we ordered some uh like mixers, like it's like a bar. It's like a bar mixer that has like the shakers, the spoons, the stir. Like if you want to make martinis yeah. and shit. So 
I'm gonna get to that. I make some mad ass martinis. So yeah, yeah, I make some. I can make you a Mexican we martini. Fucking teach these guys here in Crooks. I uh, they asked me make some mixed drinks. Yeah, uh, Yvette told me she's like, yeah, if you want, if you want to, you can come here and make drinks. Like I'll let you behind the bar and make drinks with me. I'm like, hell yeah, I'll, I'll make some drinks. This is pretty fucking good. Yeah, I drink this shit. You I'll, are drinking this. Too. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I'll, like I'll drink this shit at a bar, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like sit down and enjoy one of these fuckers here. Yeah, a couple of these fuckers here, They're pretty fucking good. Yeah, I know your your friends, um, the ones that that make the what is it called the the what the the well chalada. Well chalada. Yeah, those, those fuckers are, are fucking good. good. Those, those are, are bomb. really good. Yeah, that's one of my good friends, man. That's one of my not even like I I consider those fuckers like my brothers. You your know, brothers. Yeah. Yeah, man. I've grew up with them and put it right there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they make some mean ass fucking uh. Michelada uh, mix. Michelada mix. They got this uh, pickle one, and they got olives and. Oh, I got olives there if you wanted some. I don't know if you wanted. No, some no, olives, it's but fine. But uh, like they got three different kinds, I believe. It's a pickle one, and then they got an olive, and then they got. Excuse me, just a regular one. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a pretty big fucking mason jar. It's pretty fucking big, and I think they sell it like twenty five dollars a pop. Twenty five bucks a pop. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty or twenty five dollars a pop. I don't remember, but I know it's up there. But out of that one, you can make shit like eight beers. Eight beers. Yeah, because it's so fucking thick and and rich. Oh yeah, that, I remember. I remember. I would just drink it straight up like that. Yeah, you just need a little bit to make a fucking mixed drink. Yeah. It's fucking badass, man. Yeah. I remember I used to go to your house and that <laughs> you'd have like four jars, and I just I just pour the jar and start drinking it because it was good. So it'd be like a full jar. It wouldn't even know beer, nothing. And he even ships. He ships out to everywhere, all over the nation. Yeah, he ships them out. You know, if you order from him, and I'll probably get some up here just so we could try yeah. some out. They're pretty fucking good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Tell him ship me some Happy Dads, man. I want some Happy Dads. Some Happy Dads. Yeah. <laughs> I only I only tried it in Vegas. I only tried Happy Dad once in Vegas, and I I, I bought a I bought a, a it was a twelve pack. It was a twelve pack of Happy Dad. And I oh, is that a, like beer or? It's a seltzer. Seltzer. It's the seltzer from uh, Full Send, like that one group that does. Yeah. Not, not a sponsor, but uh, <laughs> but it, they make good. I like the beer. A lot of people don't like it, but it's a, it's a good beer. It's like it has. They have different flavors. They have a uh, pineapple, lime, strawberry, and some other. But they're good. It's, they're really good. And uh, I've been having. I've, I've, been, I've been wanting somebody to ship me some beer from over there, but nobody wants to do it. They're too scared. Why are they scared? Because you're not supposed to. Ship beer from you're not supposed to like send beer through the mail or like liquor. oh you can you can but you're not supposed to. So it's a, a you can or you can't. Y- you can but you're not supposed to. <laughs> so it's a you can <laughs> you can. No, you're you just can. not supposed to. It it's illegal. Then. It ain't illegal unless you get caught. So the, the no, it's illegal. <laughs> <then>. It's illegal. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, but uh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, Mike doesn't take a dump. <laughs> He's like, oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. My butthole's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, better put some Febreze in there. Yeah. Nah. Wow. Uh, I like these mics. They're just, it just, it just doesn't feel comfy. The angle doesn't feel comfortable. Oh, I feel good with mine. You feel good? Yeah, it's pretty on point right here. Right there. That should be Gucci. It's fidgeting. Fidgety. But yeah, Eddie, it's a pretty nice setup you got here and shit. But yeah, well, I'm gonna have to, I'm I gonna come. have to transfer. The, I'm gonna transfer this whole setup though. It's gonna be in my cell. Where my cell? Because yeah, I'm, I'm doing. It. I'm gonna do that pre that you know that program. You know the. You got a prison here, or what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to prison again. I'm Shut doing, the I'm fuck do, up. I was telling this I was guy t- here, because uh, <laughs> we we're talking about that shit. You know, I was in college. I call it college because I don't want my kids to know that I was in, you know, actual fucking jail. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's like I told Eddie. It's fucking crazy in there. All you do is fucking work out, you know. Yeah, that's fucking what I want to do. Work out, work out, work out. I told him work out. since I'm getting so much weight, I need a. I'm gonna go in there. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there and and I'm gonna become a trainer. You get me? I'm gonna be a. They're gonna train me and because like I've seen when I when Joey came out, bro, he was fit, bro. Yeah. He was fit, bro. Fit. And my brother came out fit, bro. Yeah. I, I need to, I need to come out fit too, man. Like shit. <laughs> nah, just messing. Nah, uh, yeah, man. You come out fucking. In shape. There was a time I was fucking like 215, 2, 220 solid, fucking big, you know? Like I was fucking just boom. And it, it, it was badass, man. It, it was, I, it's not badass being in there, but yeah, yeah. You know, like healthy wise, you eat healthy and fucking, you have a lot of exercise to do and 
there's a lot of sports and shit like that that you can do activities and all yeah, that to, to keep, keep you right in there you know to keep your mind occupied you know so you won't fucking fall into a fucking you know there's a small static you yeah know, i heard it yeah, I, 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 I cleaned it though i cleaned it and the static went away yeah yeah but uh yeah man it's uh it's crazy man it's crazy being uh being away and and those things there because it ain't for everybody you know what i mean yeah so one of my biggest questions is like see when you're in there for a long period of time and you come out does it feel like you time traveled you well time stops for you man yeah you know once you go in there time time has completely stopped for you yeah and time out here fucking keeps going yeah yeah but for you it has fucking stopped it yeah, came yeah. to a complete fucking stop yeah yeah you know what i mean so it's not like you time traveled, but it's just like whenever you do get out of jail, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, you yeah. Know, when I went in, they, they didn't have that shit. Yeah, yeah. That's like, what that's my question. Like, the know, technology. like The technology it is advanced. crazy, yeah. Like, I, was watching advances, this, I was watching this video with Lil Boosie. You know Lil Boosie, right? Yeah, Boosie yeah. Badass. So yeah. he went in there, like, before I was even born. He was in there before. I, I, so he went in there before phones were even touchscreen. Yeah. So I, was, I seen a video when they give him an iPhone, and he's like, what is this? He's like, it's an iPhone, bro. He's like, what do you do with it? Like, he was, he, there's no buttons, and he's like, yeah. it's a touchscreen, bro. Like, like, so in my head, it does, does it feel like time traveling? Like, yeah. Well, when were, I went in, there was no touch phones either. No. Oh, damn. So when See, I got out, crazy right so when I got out, they were just having uh, the iPhone. The very first iPhone was coming out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I didn't know how to fucking use that shit. Yeah. So I I got myself a BlackBerry because I was using buttons. Buttons. Yeah. Yeah. So I got myself a fucking BlackBerry, or one of my good buddies yeah. got me a BlackBerry. He like here, cause uh, yeah. I didn't know nothing. Hey Mike, of that. can you close the door? But uh, yeah, man, it's yeah. fucking, it's that's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, that's my cra- that's one of the craziest thing. Like, I'm, like the people that have been in there for such a long time, like say from they've been in there since the I would say the seventies. There's some guys in there that have been in there oh, since yeah, the 70s. Man, it's and they come out right now in the 2000s, like mm-hmm. the gap. Like, do you think that'll feel like, you remember Captain America when he woke up, you know, when he woke up in, yeah. his, in his sleep? It was unfroze him and he gets out and he's like, holy crap, yeah. bro, like, what is this? Like, this was not here when I got out, you get me? Like, it's, yeah. a, whole, it's a whole time travel. You're time yeah. traveling. You're, you're not really like time traveling, but technically you're at, you're at a hole, you get me? The yeah. outside world is, is changing. Yeah, while you're yeah, just, definitely, man. You like, me? when I was coming out, there was, a, there was a, actually a, an old school coming out too, and he had just done like a, what, like 28? Yeah. A 28 piece. So uh, I told him, How does it feel, man? He actually said, I'm fucking scared. <laughs> yeah. Fucking scared. I don't know what the fuck I'm going out to, you know? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm going out there to, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. Yeah. yeah. I've been in here so long, this is all I fucking know. Been in here for 28 fucking years going out there, like, fuck, what the fuck am you know, what am I getting myself into out there? Like, yeah, I get you. Yeah, it's a whole different world, and and it's it's crazy, man. If you really think of it, think about it that way, you know, you being gone for so long and then coming out to this fucking new technology, new fucking new era, and you know, yeah, yeah. People, like every everything changes, even people change, you know, yeah, the way people act, the way people fucking carry themselves, it's 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 crazy now, like it's, yeah, we're in a changes. new fucking era now, yeah, you know, it's <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I just. Uh, kind of fucking told him just i mean well good luck man you know good luck yeah good luck that's all i could fucking you know just hope good just wish you good luck that's wish it you good luck, yeah but yeah. yeah that's what that's what basically like I, w- I always think about like people that have been there for been in there for so long like the the, the time like everything outside is just it, everything's evolving everything's growing everything's changing and everything in here is the same you get me because you're yeah. you're only limited to a certain amount of like stuff yeah. So when you get out, you're like, you're a whole different world. You get me? You're in a whole different, you're in yeah. a whole different environment. You get me? It's not the same as it was 10 or 12 years ago. It's, yeah. it's a whole different ball game. You get me? So yeah. That's what it makes it's me like wonder. now you're coming out and it's like, now you got to go out there and get it. You know? Yeah. When you come out of fucking jail, like there's no more fucking routine. You know? Yeah. There's not a routine anymore where, oh, they open up doors. There's chow yeah. in the morning, go eat some chow and. Whatever routine you had for 20-some fucking years, it ain't yeah. going to be like that you coming out no more. It's like now it's time for you to go out there and fucking be part of the community and be, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, be a 
be a citizen now, you know, like, you know, do fucking, you know, like fucking work and yeah. look for work and do that. Be part of the there's no more people. The... There's no more, you know, like routine. It's not a routine anymore. So yeah. they come out with a routine thinking it's, you know, like, so they come out fucking scared sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Because they're so used to just having a fucking routine for so long and them coming out to this world. It's fuck. Like, what the fuck am I going to do now? Yeah, I get you. Yeah. Like, how am I going to start my day? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, I feel and not a lot of people adapt to it too, you know. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people fucking come out institutionalized, and, and it's sad because it's like they want to go back. They don't like it, you know. Yeah. Like I want to go back. Like they'll fucking just cause a violation just to go back. Yeah, yeah. Right away, because they're afraid. Yeah. Of being out here in the free like, world. The change with it. Like yeah, the change. Yeah. The big change is it's, it's. It's like I said, it's a different culture now, man. It's, yeah. You know, like it's a new era. It's a different culture. It's. The people now, it's it's it ain't like how it used to be, you know. Yeah. And I even had a school tell me, yeah, it's it's no respect out there. These kids are just running running wild now. Yeah, yeah. And I told them, yeah, it, it's it's a new era, man. It's a new, it's a, you know. I think uh, I think each generation has an era. Yeah, there's a new generation yeah. now. You know like, what I mean? But I think it, I think throughout time that I think the people change. But I think every single generation has that group of people that will rebel. You get me? Yeah. Like, think about it like when there was, like, hippies, like Woodstock and stuff, you know? Young kids, want they don't care. They want to go and party and pop acid and smoke weed. Yeah. Those were the rebellions. You get me? But I feel like each generation has those, th that group of people where they rebel. Yeah. You get me? You can, it can't always, like, say like me, like, like, I'll be listening to certain music. You're like, and somebody will be like, what are you listening to? Like, that's not music. But, like, the guy that told me that, when he was young, I'm pretty sure somebody told him, what are you listening <coughs> to? That's not music. But that's what he, that's what was vibing with his generation. You get me? Yeah. So, like, say you're, you have kids, your sons. They're going to grow up to liking music that you've never heard before. Like it's, but they're going to be evolving with their generation. So when you hear their music, you're going to be like, what are you listening to, man? Like, you want to hear some real music? And you're going to put on what you like. You get me? You're going to put on your, like... X, uh, big X the plug Pinches you know, corridos Corridos You're gonna put on SPM You're gonna be, yeah. you're gonna be like This is music They're gonna be like No This yeah. is music Because this is what they know yeah. You get me So I feel like Throughout throughout generations We all have that rebellious group Or that group Because yeah. it, it's never gonna be the same We're yeah, yeah. You make a good pe point People are only gonna evolve You get me That's why That's why when there's like Those old people That'll be like, Ugh, like yeah, I don't, I'm like I don't really care Because they grew up In a different time You get me Yeah Like think about it Like the Like um Like like, example, Julian, the loader. You can be like, I'll put on some of my music. He'd be like, oh, you young kids, uh, you don't know good music. And I'll be like, yeah. I'll be like, what are you listening to? He listens to something different. And I'm like, that's good music. But that's the music you grew up to. This music is what I grew up to. You get me? Yeah. So there's a big there's a big gap between the, the two. But I'm pretty sure if he was, like, my age and he hung out with me, he would like the music I listen to. You get me? Yeah. Just, yeah. That's how I see it. It's crazy. I think it, each group has its own... Each generation has its own group. You get me? So these old timers that have been in there for a long time, they come out to this generation. Like, what is this? No. Like, what the hell is that? Like, no, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to listen to that. You get me? Like, they're they're stuck in this time. That's why I said it's a, it's a time it's a time travel. Yeah. Gap, you get me? Like, you f like you get me? It's really yeah weird. yeah. It's it's crazy. Man. Oh, well. I'm drunk. <laughs> I know. I know. Pedo. Pedo. Oh yeah, man. It's I get what you're saying. Yeah. But um. <clears throat> That's why I listen to everything. Like, um, my playlist is. Yeah, I kind of listen up. to everything too. You know, I listen to some rock and roll. Yeah. Some hip hop, old yeah. school hip hop. Yeah. I don't like the new hip hop. I ain't got nothing against it. It's just I like the one I grew up on. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I got the Wu Tang Clan. I got Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg, Dog Dre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eminem and fucking Tupac, Biggie, and yeah, yeah. All of them good freaking artists. You know. And I, I like those guys too because they're dope. They have yeah. a different. They have a Both different Thugs vibe. and Harmony you know I mean? and yeah. shit. I mean, I grew boom, up on that boom, shit. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, heard I grew it. up on that shit. You know, that's that's fucking music for me. You yeah. know, that's I, I I and I still fucking you see you see me you hear me fucking still bang it. You yeah, know? yeah. I because that's what I like. That's what I grew up on. But yeah, I I mean like I ain't got nothing against nobody's fucking music now. Like the, I mean, there's you got badass artists, but I just don't listen to their music. You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah. I, I got so used to m the music I grew up on, and she was a birthday. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> the music I like. So now I get but, you. Yeah, like I, my daughter, my oldest one, she she jumps out to all these new artists now, you know, and she's like, "This is a real song." I'm like, "Well." Yeah, yeah, it's a good song, but it's just 
I just doesn't vibe with me, yeah. you know? Like, I'll put on some of mine. She's like, what is that? I'm yeah, like, yeah. that's that's what I like, you know? Like, that's what I grew up on, but. Yeah, and it's crazy because, like, see, she tells you that one song, this is a good song. When she gets older and she has kids and everything, she's going to tell her kids, like, this is a good song right here. And they're yeah. going to be like, no, this is a good song. You yeah. Get me? And it's going to keep going yeah. and going and going because yeah. everything is just evolving. You get me? Yeah. So that's what blows my mind, like, like. Like, I remember I always be like, you don't know who, uh, I remember I always tell you, like, you don't know who uh, the Power Rangers are, man. Get out of here. And then you'd be like, bro, you weren't even born. You weren't even born yet in the Power Rangers game. You weren't even born, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I was coming out of school straight to the TV. Straight to the TV to watch some Power Rangers. I'm in the fucking in front of the TV doing flips and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember. I... But, yeah, I fucking grew up watching the old fucking uh, Batman and Robin yeah. The old school one, the one that fucking would punch him and his fucking big old letter would come out. Pow! Yeah. You know, fucking to the roof, Batman. And, you know, like, fuck. Like, badass. Like, I like that shit. Like, it was badass. Yeah. I had a little, I had I had a good childhood, you know? Not a, like, well, well, at least for me, I, I, I loved my childhood. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I, I had fun. I was a little rebel, you know? I was a little shit, but. I had fun. Yeah. I made the best of it. You know what I mean? And I know you, you've obviously been a lot long. You've been alive longer than I have. You've seen a lot more and you've seen things change like throughout time. Like how has time changed between when you were young and now? Like how much change have you seen throughout that whole time period? Because you've been along like when I, 19, I was born. I was born in 1999. Kaka. Oh, it's right here. You got it? There you go. There you go. Hold on. Not going to do it with it. It'll, it'll eventually, what our voices will probably like. It's like a small tap, like. Yeah. All right there. Push two of them. It's one of these, right? There you go. There's that one. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pull it out. Let's see. One of those. So, anyway. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. It's like a small knick knack. Like, are you picking that up or no? I can't hear. All right. You're good, you're good. Um, there you go. There you go. Got it. Yeah, you got it. So um, I got it, man. So um you've been a lot you've been alive longer than I have. Like you and Garrett have been along longer than I have. Yeah. I'm I was still a fucking a, a fucking sperm cell in my daddy's sack when you guys were fucking roaming you guys started roaming the earth. Um <laughs> how much time is Oh, it's changed, Eddie, because there changed. was dinosaurs back when I no, was five years old. No, it wasn't dinosaurs. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, like. Oh, motherfucker, you make it seem like we've been alive. <laughs> no. Yeah, 36. Yeah, 35. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. This fucking thing no, fossil true. fuels like, and shit. Like, like um, where were you born? It's like, oh, you've been longer than us. Like, like, yeah, there was dinosaurs. There were no, pterodactyls. <laughs> no, not like For that. transportation. Not like that. Like, um, <laughs> like, you're, like what year were you born? Uh, 87. 87. So you experienced the 90s, the entire yeah. 90s. Yeah. I didn't experience it. I, I, I don't even know what the hell the 90s are. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, what was it like living in the 90s? Like, it was fucking badass, man. Like, like what is different between the 90s and the 2000s? Like, what's better about the 90s? What's What was better about the 90s that you think is way better than the 2000s? I don't know. We had more fun, man. As a kid, uh, we didn't have all this technology we have now. All these handheld consoles and fucking phones and all that shit. We're, yeah. You know, the 90s, it was all about bikes, man. BMX, mongoose, and fucking skateboarding, and yeah. fucking having the fucking badass fucking chromed out fucking mongoose sitting outside your house. You know, that that's, that's I mean, that's what it was, that's the difference now, you know, how in the 90s it was more, you were out there more. You yeah. were out in the streets more, more, you know, like, we're going to go hang out at Steve's house, or we're going to go hang out at fucking Lee's house. Yeah. 
We're everywhere. Every every, every other day we had a different hangout spot. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And uh, rolling in, in in crowds, rolling as crews. You know, in the bikes and yeah, scooters. And back in the day, I remember I had a scooter, and I like these scooters they have now with them bitch ass little wheels. But I had like it had a big fucking wheel. Like you had to put air in it. Oh, okay. You know, it was a big old fucking scooter. It was badass. Yeah. You know, I had the brakes and shit up here. That motherfuckers were fast too. But uh, yeah, it was more. Uh, you would enjoy your out that uh, being out more, you know. Yeah. And fucking building shit. Remember we built a fucking go kart out of a fucking lawnmower, fucking <laughs> motor. Yeah. And had a fucking go kart. It had no fucking brakes, because as soon as you fucking strike that motherfucker on, it would go. Wheel start spinning. Yeah. But we had an accelerator, you know. Yeah. Brrr, and it would go faster. But the only way to stop that motherfucker was to crash it into my buddy's fence. Yeah. He had a fucking wire fence, and it was kind of fucking loose. Oh, it wasn't loose, but we loosened it up <laughs> throughout yeah. the time because we would stop that fucker there. Yeah. Because when we built it, like I said, it was out of a fucking lawnmower. When you start a fucking lawnmower, yeah. that fucking rotor starts, you know? <laughs> so it wouldn't stop. Yeah, yeah. It would just slow down. Like if you would like let off the accelerator, it would just slow down. But we couldn't stop it. Yeah, I get you. But we found a way to stop it. But every time, it was pulling the plug. Pulling spark the pl plug. Spark plug. Uh. But it would shock the fuck out of you. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't do it right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would always be fucking too deep and one on the back for the spark plug. Yeah. So he was the one shutting it off with the spark plug. But it was sh fucking shocking the fuck out of us. So we're like, fuck this. We're not going to fucking... Pull the plug anymore. We're just gonna fucking ram it, fucking ram it into the fence, into and we'll fence. just stop it there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's dope. We'll stop it there, and we'll just lift up the back because the wheels are still going. Lift up the lift up, like lift it up, and you know. Yeah, yeah. And then we would fucking grab. It was it was weird. We had like a little something tied around it to the where the plugs at. Get that rope and fucking pull on it. Pull on it so it gets shut off. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah. That's creative as fuck. It was though. fucking badass, man. Yeah. It was a badass go kart. It was a badass go kart. But yeah, yeah, man, it was. I wish it would. I would have grew up in a time like that. I grew up in a like a. It was all right time, but like, like my mom, like obviously she wouldn't let us go outside either. Like she would always have us stay inside. Like oh, you gotta stay inside, don't go outside. Um, until I turned like, until I got a skateboard and I started leaving the house, I just disappeared for like. I remember I disappeared for like a whole three days. I was in, I was in where was I? Freshman year high school. I disappeared for like three days. I was in. I was in Houston. <laughs> I yeah. went on a journey, yeah. 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 I remember one time I'm washing my mom's car. She had a Beretta. A Beretta GT. It was an all right car, you know. At that time, I, I think I was like 13, 14, 13, 14, around there. I'm washing her car outside. So I, I asked her, I actually, Brandon was a baby. And, uh, I asked my mom for the keys. I'm like, Mom, give me the keys so I can move the car. I already washed it. Brandon was outside with me. I put him in the car. She gives me the keys, and I take off in the car. <laughs> well, my little nephew on the fucking passenger side. Fucking take off. One of my other buddies took his mom's fucking Geo Tracker. I don't know if you guys, yeah. the Geo Trackers, it was like a little fucking Jeep kind of thing. Box fucking little ass fucking Jeep. It has like two doors, right? Yeah, it had two yeah, doors. Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen it before. And it had like a fucking rag top, like you could fucking take yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah. Like the Jeep, but it was yeah. a Geo Trekker. Yeah. And uh, he's like, I'll fucking race you. I'm like, I'll fucking race you then. So my buddy picks up my other buddy, you know? And we go down a fucking dirt road, fucking racing down a fucking dirt road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that one's it. That's Geo a fucking Geo Tracker. Yeah. 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 I'm going to have to edit that fucker in there just like. So hey, <laughs> so we fucking. Uh, we're fucking going down this, uh, it's called, uh, Bayi Road, I think. Juan Bayi Road. It was dirt road at that yeah. time. Fucking racing on a dirt road. I didn't know no fucking better. Whoa, fucking racing on the dirt road. <laughs> fucking gap them, dude. <laughs> so you see all this fucking cloud dust behind me. <laughs> so I fucking lost them in the cloud dust. So I'm like, fuck, I fucking, when I'm fucking going, when I'm gapping them, I'm seeing the cloud dust. But at the same time, I'm fucking grabbing the fucking wheel because the fucking car is coasting. Yeah. Because we're on a dirt road, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. At that time, I didn't know any better. So, But the fucking car's like, whoo, like gliding on top of that fucking gravel, you know? Fucking gliding. I'm like, fuck. So I slow it down because I don't see them anymore. I lost them. 
I lost these fuckers on the cloud dust. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That I'm fucking picking up. So I fucking come to a complete stop. Cloud dust settles. These fuckers are on the ditch. Like they fucking, <laughs> they fucking wreck, bro. So they're, they're, the Jeep is fucked. I don't even know how they survived. So I fucking came back. One of my buddies has a broken cheekbone, broken arm. The driver, Manuel, he didn't have nothing on him. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> so my other buddy was Roel. He's fucking fucked up, you know? We get him off the car, put him in my car. I take Roel to his house, take Manuel to my house, and I guess Manuel left walking. We left the Jeep tracker there. There's a construction going on down the road. They saw what the fuck happened. Yeah. So we take off. They're trying. They're driving towards our way, and I'm fucking telling them, let's go, let's go, let's go. We fucking take off. All right, we get back home. My mom's fucking pissed off. Ay, pa' donde pinche huerco, pa' donde chingas te fuiste, you know? Ranting in fucking Spanish. Yeah. You know, fucking telling me off. And I'm like, I'm like, fuck, you know, Brandon. And, you know, Brandon was a fucking, like, I don't know, two-year-old, three-year-old, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I remember Brandon. Uh, and uh, fucking, uh, I want to say like an hour later, a DPS fucking pulls up to my house. He's like, hey, uh. I need to talk to the guy that was driving that car. You know, I was outside. I'm like, no, nobody was driving it. They're like, let me talk to your mom. So my mom comes out. She's like, ma'am, you know, this is, I, need a, I need the guy that was driving that car because it, it was an accident right now. So she looks at me and she goes, like, what happened? So the cop looks at me. The DPS trooper looks at me. He's like, you were driving? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, the hell were you thinking i'm like where are your buddies that that were driving the the geo tracker that jeep i'm like well i don't know <laughs> i'm like what do you mean you don't know i'm like dude they're hurt there's a lot of blood in there yeah they're fucking hurt we need to get them medical attention so i was like oh, okay like i thought my buddies were gonna get in trouble i'm like i'm not gonna give up my buddies you know i ain't no fucking snitch yeah yeah you know he's like you better tell me where he lives because we need to get an ambulance for him Cause he's fucking hurt, yeah. And Roel was hurt, dude. He was fucking crying. You know what I mean? Like he was fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like fuck. So I'm like, well, you know what? I know. Well, Manuel wasn't. Manuel fucking left walking. That was the, you know, the owner of the fucking Geo Tracker. Yeah. He left to his house walking. So we we uh, my mom jumps in the car. DPS follows us to fucking Roel's house. Uh, fucking uh, they call the ambulance for him and shit, right? And then they come back and tell me, like, what the fuck were you guys doing? I'm like, I wasn't doing shit. You know, I'm never going to admit to shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I didn't admit to shit. Like, well, the constructions, you know, there was uh, witnesses out there, out there saying that you guys were racing. I wasn't racing. Who was racing? I wasn't racing. I was just driving the car. Yeah. Or like, well, I mean, the only way this guy freaking, they crashed like that is because they were fucking hauling ass down that fucking road. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they, we have witnesses. I'm like, well, I, I wasn't racing. So, all right, long story short, it, 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 you know, they never did shit about it, but they just wanted medical attention for them. So they grabbed the car. I guess Emmanuel's parents found out, whatever, whatnot. They come to my house, talk to my mom. Hey, what the fuck, this and that, you know, the insurance. You know, they try to play that card. Like, fuck no. Like, he was driving. Like, my kid didn't have, my mom was backing me up. Like, fuck no. Like, the DPS said that, you know, they're, they don't have, like, you know, proof that they're racing. Yeah. So why are you going to fucking come and that it was my fault? They're trying to say it was my fault because I, I threw them off road. Yeah. You know, my bitch ass buddy Emmanuel was fucking blaming me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, little fucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fucker. So, uh, but yeah, man, they fucking crashed fucking bad, dude. So I, uh, I talked to Roel, I think like two weeks later and shit. I'm like, hey, how did you guys crash? He's like. After you fucking passed us, this fucker couldn't see shit. So all of a sudden, he just went off road. Yeah. And the fucking Jeep just started doing flips. Damn. Boom. 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 Like, this Jeep was fucked, dude. Yeah, I don't even gone. know how they survived, like I said. I mean, it was fucked, bro. But uh, <laughs> it was a pretty fucking... It was it was wild, man. It was crazy. It was fucking wild. Damn. I think I think when I got in my, my car wreck, when I crashed my Mustang, that was bad. I was uh, pulling out of college, pulling out of the university, going, going. Uh, I was going east, yeah. east on uh, military. Yeah. East on military, you know, there's a one way. Yeah. 
So I'm hauling ass. I'm hauling behind my buddy in his Honda Civic. I think I told you. And then, damn. And then uh, he slams on his brakes. He slams on his brakes, and I'm coming right behind him. I'm like, oh, no. So I slam on my brakes. My car doesn't stop. So I go in straight into the ditch. Go into the ditch. Car doesn't stop. It's still rolling in the ditch. Like, the brakes were pressed, but I guess the grass, like, made it slide. Yeah. And just went straight into the pole. They hit the pole. All the airbags blew out. Boom, boom. The one airbag caught on fire. <laughs> I'm over there trying to turn it off with my hand. <laughs> and, and then my buddy in the Honda Civic parks. And he's like, dude, were you okay? And I'm like, yeah. Dude. He's like, bro, I saw your face when you crashed, bro, and you were smiling, bro. I'm like, no, I wasn't. He's like, dude, you were fucking smiling. And I was like, shit. So I got all the stuff. I got the bumper, put it in the in the trunk, got the headlight, put it in the trunk. Yeah. And then I don't know where um, Border Patrol comes in. <laughs> Border Patrol. <laughs> I'm like, oh fuck, Border Patrol's here. He's like, are you guys okay? I was on that hill and I saw you guys. Uh, I hit you. Hit, saw you hit that pole, and I'm like, oh, I'm okay, man. I just called. I just called the cops, man. They're on their way. Fucking the cops are not on their way. And then, <laughs> and then, because uh, like, you, if you hit a pole, bro, it's like 10 G's just to try to fix it. They'll charge you for the pole. Oh. So I'm like, whatever. I'm out. So I got in the car, boom, and I told my buddy, I was like, bro, I'm going to McDonald's, bro. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled up to McDonald's. After crashing the fucking car, yeah. going to McDonald's, huh? It was still running. But it was leaking something, so I pulled up to the McDonald's uh, parking lot. Was it lot. that fucking loud ass Mustang you had? Yeah, the loud. I hated that car, man. <laughs> so fucking loud, man. But the the RX8 was louder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was loud. The RX8 was loud. It had a lot of power though. It had a lot of torque. It did. <laughs> I put like three stickers on it and it gave it two horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, and then uh, pull up to the McDonald's parking lot. I pop the hood open and it's just a battery that's leaking. So I'm like, dang. So I go and I take out the battery. I go buy a new one. <laughs> buy all the new parts from Amazon. And then it, the car was brand new. Oh, fuck. And then I drove it into a puddle of water and it blew up. <laughs> 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 Fucking crazy. I was mind blowing. I went through like three cars in like a, like a year. It was pretty bad. Yeah. The Mustang, the Bronco, and the Expedition. Holy fuck. Went through th three cars. Yeah. This this is the longest lasting car I've ever had the, the the one I got right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've had it for a year. I've never had a car for a whole year ever ever. All That's good. Huh? They're all Fords. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean nothing. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah, hey, I like a Subaru though. I want a Subaru. That one's dope. It's all wheel drive or what? All wheel drive. Fucking right. Fuck yeah. Winter tires all the way around too. Fuck yeah. yeah. That's what I was trying to get from Melissa, but Melissa wants a. We need a full size SUV, man. SUV. Yeah, so we're probably gonna get that one of those new Suburbans, Z seventy one, all the twenty threes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll probably get one of those, cause uh, yeah, we get we have a big family, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to trade in my pickup and fucking get that Suburban out. If not a Suburban, we'll probably get a Tahoe, Chevy Tahoe. Tahoe but oh, those are nice. I still think a Suburban is better because it has more fucking yeah, you know, cargo space and shit. So. Get it black? Yeah. Like a or a truck. white one. <laughs> huh? It's a little like a cartel truck. Yeah. <laughs> All black. Or a white with some black rims or something, you know? Oh, I've seen nice. one, a white one. I've seen one on Grand Forks. It was white with black rims. That bitch looked fucking sick. Those are nice. Damn. How many, sm how many cigs did you smoke already? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not counting. <laughs> Bro, I think you smoked like four cigs or four or five yeah. cigs. I tried smoking, but I can't. I can't. I I tried vaping, then I got a respiratory infection. <laughs> yeah, I got I got a vape here too. Oh, you do? Which is uh, that one? I don't know, some fucking loom. Loom. Oh yeah. Oh, from uh, Ampride. They have them at Ampride. Yeah, they have a whole like a whole like roll like a, it's like a close. What flavor is that one? I don't know what flavor it is, but it's pretty good. I'm not gonna puff it because I don't want to die. Yeah. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> Lime. La blue lightning. What's what flavor is blue lightning? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> blue raspberry. Yeah, blue raspberry. Uh, smells pretty good. Yeah, man. So what do you what do you think you, is coming up next? What do you think the next plan is? Like right now up in Minnesota, what's your next um the next goals you got? Uh next goals, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, what I do know, you know, is get my own truck. Get your own truck. Probably give me a truck here. And a year or so i'm gonna give it a year a good year i'm gonna work hard for a full year and see if i could because it's it's 
what it, how uh, what they've told me is pretty pricey, man. Yeah. To be an owner operator and have your own truck. Yeah, yeah. It's a high maintenance and shit. So I just got to get my money right and plan it right, not just buy the truck and not fucking buy no tools. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So first, I want to start with getting all my tools ready for yeah, tools to ready. work on a truck. Yeah. You know, I want to be able to work on my own truck. Yeah, like a shop. Want to get yeah. like a shop or something? Yeah, and shit like that. So I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna give it hard a full year and see if I can get me all my tools, everything I need, everything, everything. Yeah. And then uh, we'll see if I can get me a truck, man. Get me a truck, a truck and start off with, with a truck and take it from there. Take yeah. it from there, man. Yeah. There's a lot of money to be made up here, you know? Yeah, definitely, Especially definitely. Especially in the trucking industry up here. It's crazy. Yeah. There's so much money. But yet again, I mean, like I said, it's pricey to fucking own a truck. Yeah, but yeah. It's the, it, it pays out either way, you know? Get a truck, you're gonna fucking run it, you know. Yeah, you gotta run if it's it. It's fucking parked where you're not making no money, no fucking money's coming in, so you're just losing money. But <coughs> <coughs> damn, it's spicy. Burped up the fucking pickle. The pickle, piece <laughs> of pickle. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, it's um, good things are are to come, you know. Yeah, yeah. I feel it. So am I gonna get a name the the next nephew? <laughs> I don't name. know, man. You, you got some crazy names. I name him uh, Achilles. Yeah, this guy wants to name him after the Bro, gladiator. His name was na- Achilles, right? Imagine Achilles. Achilles. Imagine naming my son Achilles. You can yell his name outside. Like. Maximus Decimus Meridius. <laughs> name him uh, Zeus. Zeus or uh, Hades. Oh damn! Imagine having a son named Hades. Yeah. Hey, Hades, this is my son Hades. Yeah, I don't know. We're we're hoping it's a girl, man. Name Hope her uh, Cleopatra. <laughs> or uh, we still don't know about Athena. The name. Now, I'm all, all Greek and <laughs> all myth- mythological names and all that. Yeah. If I have a son, I'm going to name him Buck. <laughs> <laughs> Buck 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man, it's it's crazy. Yeah? A skateboard? Yeah, I know. I see it. I'm probably going to end up swapping out these... Uh, these two right here and put in something different. I'm going to get like a bonsai tree and then get like another couple ones. You should get yourself that. Your the big podcast words. podcast name. You put something here with your podcast name. Yeah, I would, but there's a window there. It looks ugly. Like it's like that one right there. No, you can make a plaque that goes here. Like oh, okay, okay. Here, a nice plaque. Yeah. Custom well, made plaque. What I wanted to do is, you know how you go to Hobby Lobby and they have those big words? Yeah. I wanted to slap some big words up there or like coming down right here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm Because there's some do. custom shops out there in Grand Forks, I think. They do metal work. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's it's for for something like that to make you a nice little plaque <laughs> It's here. a license plate to the license plate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's pretty badass, man. It's pretty badass. But yeah, you got to make let it be known, you know? Show it off. Yeah. Yep. We'll get some stuff. I'm working on it. I mean, once I get once I get a little more used to it, we'll, we'll throw some yeah. throw some more ideas in here. Pretty get badass. a stripper pole down the middle, you know. Oh yeah. Some well, I don't know, man. It's pretty <laughs> small in here. I'll be swinging tits everywhere, huh? <laughs> oh fuck! <man. laughs> Pow! <laughs> fuck. Do a somersault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's getting better. It's it's gonna get better. Hopefully, we can get more people on here. Um. I'm going to have you, obviously, I, like I said, I love having you on, and I hope yeah. I can have you on more yeah, more man. on the podcast. Um, hopefully, we can get a lot more people. I want to get, like, hopefully police officers and doctors and uh, sheriffs and cops. Okay, that's what I want I want to be, I want to have on here, so. That's good. This man. weekend, I'm going to be doing some chit-chatter, you know, marketing, and hopefully I can get some good people on here, you know. That's good, man. That's good. Yeah. I yeah. already made, already made a couple Marines and. And Air Force, Air <laughs> oh, Force that was, members. That would be fucking awesome, man, having yeah. them on board, you know? Yeah, some Air Force guys, so hopefully they're actually down to jump on here. Some recruiters, you know? Um, not that I'm going to join, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> hopefully I can have some guys on here. <laughs> By the time you know it, Eddie's gone. Yeah. What, what happened to Eddie? <laughs> oh, he got recruited. He's yeah. a basic that, training. <laughs> that guy did his job. That guy he got in the podcast yeah. did his job. Hey. Be surprised, man, how they get you. Yeah. They'll reel you but in. They, that's you a, their job, you know? They'll give you a... They will sweet-talk you, sugarcoat you, and 
They would by the time you know it, you're over this, <laughs> overseas and shit. Yeah. You're over there up in fucking California, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, if you sign up or not, you get a free challenger with uh, a PC gaming PC yeah. in the back seat. What? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> If you sign up right now, we give you all free PC parts. Uh, <laughs> where's the where's the waiver? Where's the waiver right now? That's how they're gonna get me. Oh yeah. How much time have we been uh, we've been running for? One fifteen. An hour fifteen? Damn, an hour fifteen. It's pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Getting kind of think? tired here, man. Well, you're getting <laughs> kind of tired. Yeah, I mean, if you wanna, we can. How you guys doing? We're back from our break, our small break, and uh, Jose here. Um, just want to say thank everybody, thank you everybody for watching the podcast for today. And uh, I have Jose here. Um, he's gonna be my co-host. I'm my co-host, but my one of my hosts is gonna come once in a while, and we're gonna be jibber jabbering about anything that uh, that comes up to our minds. And uh, thank you for watching today. And uh, Jose, you have anything to say? No, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me on, man. You know. Yeah, I love having you here. Hopefully, I can have you more. You're good vibes, good energy. And uh, yeah. like I said, you're like my brother. You're my family. And uh, I love you, bro. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna want to always have you on the podcast. So thank you everybody for watching and uh, tune in to All In Podcast. We're gonna have more on the way. So uh, tune in, All In. <laughs>